In this video I'll go through some problems involving proportions. So let's suppose that we have five units of A and they are proportional to three units of B. Okay, so five units of A are proportional and I'm going to use this symbol here which means proportional to five units of A are proportional to three units of B. And so because A and B are proportional to one another, if we increase the units of A, then we'll increase the units of B. And so our question is, if we have 30 units of A, then how many units of B will we need? So we can set this up in a similar way to the way we set up um, a ratio problem by just using fractions. So here we could say that 5 over 3 is equal to 30 over x. And then we can solve that for x. So x will be equal to 30 times 3 over 5, which comes to 18. And then we can just check if we have our fraction 5 over 3, that needs to be equal to 30 over 18. And those are equivalent fractions because if I multiply 5 by 6, I would get 30. If I multiply 3 by 6, I would get 18. Let's do another problem like that. Let's suppose this time 5 units of A are proportional to 8 units of B. And then this time, let's suppose that we want to know how many units of A we would need if we've got 12 units of B. Okay, so again, set up equivalent fractions. So this time we'll have 5 over 8 equal to x over 12. So x is equal to 12 times 5 over 8. And that comes to 7.5. And again, we could check that we've got equivalent fractions. If we do 5 divided by 8 and 7.5 divided by 12. And yeah, sure enough, we've got equivalent fractions. If I multiplied 5 by 1.5, I'd get seven and a half, and if I multiply eight by one and a half, I'd get 12. So that's where we have units of A directly proportional to units of B. But what if we have units of A that are inversely proportional to units of B? So what if five units of A is inversely proportional to three units of B. So I'll write that as one over three units of B. So now when the units of A increase, the units of B decrease. So the question is, if I have 30 units of A, then how many units of B do I need to have so that I maintain that inversely proportional relationship? So this time instead of setting up fractions that are equal to one another, we set up products that are equal to one another. So in this case 5 times 3 is equal to 30 times x. 
And so now x is equal to 5 times 3 divided by 30, which equals 0.5. Okay, and we can check that we've done this correctly, making sure that these products are equivalent by plugging in that value of x that we just found. And sure enough, 5 times 3 is 15, 30 times 0.5 is 15. So we're all good. Let's do one last example. Let's suppose 5 units of A are inversely proportional to 8 units of B. And if we have an unknown, unknown number of units of A and 12 units of B, what does X have to be to maintain that inversely proportional relationship? So this time we've got 5 times 8 equals 12 times X. So X is going to be equal to 5 times 8 divided by 12 and that comes to 3 and 1 third. And check our answer is correct. 5 times 8 comes to 40. 12 times 3 and 1 third. That comes to 40 as well. So everything checks out.